Well, take a look at this. Thousand or two thousand year history we got. Mate, built in 1430. Welcome, Joe Fish. Welcome, thank you so much. Hello and welcome to Axbridge, the smallest town in Somerset. This historic town is home to some of the finest medieval and Tudor architecture still left standing here in the UK. Stay with me today as we explore this historic town and we enjoy an architectural feast for the eyes. As I stand here in the middle of the medieval market square, you can just imagine all the traders and the hustle and bustle that once was. Incredible. And here as we head over now to King John's Hunting Lodge, built in 1430. One of the finest examples of architecture from this era is still left standing. This is a grade one listed building and was taken over by the National Trust in the 1970s. Absolutely stunning. Look at that old timber work. This is all original. Glorious. It truly is like stepping back in time. If it wasn't for the Ford Transit driving past, you think you was in the 15th century. So some history on King John's Lodge. This was built in 1430 and was originally the home of a wool merchant here in Axbridge. His name was John Oldway. The cloth industry absolutely thrived in this area, gaining royal recognition with a royal charter from King John in 1239, I believe, which enabled the traders of Axbridge to have fares here and not to have to pay the tolls for their, for their markets. However, like all good things, they do come to an end. And in the 17th century, with the dying out of the cloth production here in the UK, like many, once thriving market towns, Axbridge demised. However, the glorious, magnificent architecture still left standing. Do you want to wave? Hello guys. I, I film historic videos about um, small towns and cities in the UK. So yeah, I do buddy, yes. Yeah, so we're down in Axbridge today and well, I don't need to tell you guys the history of your town, do I? It's our lovely little town. It's absolutely it? stunning, isn't it? Have you been up the road yet? No, I'm going to head up you that way now. That's quite a work road. Really? Fabulous old buildings all the way up. Some really lovely locals there, and they were not kidding. Axbridge Drugstores. That is straight out of the Tudor period. Beautiful. Should we be nosy and try and peek through the window? Oh wow, it's actually someone's house. Okay, we'll just do this really quickly. And they've kept the old original sign there. And there's a man there, if you can look through the window on his laptop. If you see the video, sir, I do apologize. I'm not a peeper. That's a very Somerset thing to say, I do apologize. It's like I've stepped through a time warp and I'm back in the Tudor period. St. Jude's. St. Jude's Studio. I'm no expert on house prices, but I can bet your bottom dollar it costs a pretty penny to live in Axbridge. Let me know in the comments below what the average house price is of Axbridge. I'd be quite interested to know. If you are enjoying these videos, guys, do remember to subscribe as well. Around 80% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So do me a solid, subscribe to the channel and help Joe Fish grow. Another small glorious church there, Axbridge Methodist Church. So there, yeah, yeah, still working, Sunday service. The Reverend M. Slingo. Hi, here. Hello, I'm with one of the kind locals of Axbridge. So oh, right. I come around the UK and I film the lesser known areas of the UK oh, and right. show the, the glorious history oh, and cool. what, what made Britain great then. And this like town, the sound of that. Yes, buddy. Thousand or two thousand year history we got. Mate, I've insane. lived here thirty five years. I mean that was the oldest building. Yeah. Fourteen hundred and something. That's right, yeah. I just, just spoke about that one. Yeah. Uh, King John's Lodge, isn't it? The hunting lodge. Yeah, but the daft thing is he never visited there. That's right, I it was built two hundred years after and but something. That's like that. it, he was dead already. 
Everyone knows where cheddar is. Everyone cheddar knows where gorge. Cheddar is. Yeah, all over the world. Cheddar That's cheese, right. isn't it? Cheddar cheese, mate. And yeah. the gorge. And you get a lot of people, it's tourist out there. Oh. Right. There's the residents of the drugstores, guys. As you can see, still a local home to local people. Amazing. Beautiful. You see the lovely people, figure. yeah. That's uh, Gertie, the legendary Gertie. She was dog, was it? Yeah, she. She was wirehead fox terrier. Oh, no. I'm going to leave you to it, mate. Thank you for your time yeah, today. Well, What's I'm your name? Nick. Nick. My name's Joe. Please. There, the almshouse tea shop. Dated back to 1450. Now, I will say, I'm quite a shorter guy, and uh, you can tell when you're walking around these historic towns because the doorway is all that much smaller. It makes me feel like a giant. And there, in the distance, you can see the hills. They are the Mendip Hills. And those Mendip Hills are what brought the Romans here. The Romans mined lead up in those hills and excavations during the late 80s proved this by finding Romano-British structures in situ here in Axbridge. And there, the 13th century St. John's Church. Let's go and explore. So here, standing proud behind me, is the St. John's Baptist Church. This church was built in the 13th century, however, was updated in the 15th century, and that is mostly what you can see behind me now. Let's head inside and let's explore this magnificent piece of architecture. Right on cue, the church bells. Glorious. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Just to think that these things are nearly they're over 800 years old. And the fine detail there in the masonry, incredible. To think of all those years ago, the men here carving this by hand. I'm gonna try and head inside now, it looks very quiet. Well, take a look at this. Sometimes words don't need to be spoken. Absolutely stunning. There you can see up on the ceiling, 1636. As I said, most of what we see here was actually built in 1530, adding on to a previous structure built in the 13th century. There you can see those arches. Very, very typical of the period. Very similar design actually to one of our last videos where we went and explored Wells Cathedral. If you haven't seen that video, I'll stick it down below in the description, I'll stick a link to it. Once again, those magnificent stained glass windows that these churches are renowned for of the period. Now, I am gonna remove my hat um, because I was kindly reminded by numerous viewers in the last Wells Cathedral video that you should always take your hat off in the church. So I'm gonna pre-warn you for the hat hair. I do apologize, here we go. Okay, picking things back up. The hat's off. I do apologize for the hat hair. However, let's continue with this exploration of this wonderful, magnificent 13th century church. There's the organ, so traditional. We are greeted here by an absolutely magnificent example of these stained glass windows that we were discussing earlier. There you can see Christ being crucified and then rising again. So viewers, if anyone knows what this is about, I'd be very intrigued to know. Fans of the many TV shows that cover the Viking era will be very familiar with the Kingdom of Wessex. Well, this is Wessex. As we walk the grounds of this magnificent church, let's talk a little bit of the history of Axbridge. Well, 
Axbridge dates all the way back to the 10th century, where it was recorded as a burr or a small fort. Presumably, this would have been to defend the royal Saxon residents that were located to the west of here in Cheddar. What a lovely time we've had on Axbridge today. The locals have been really kind. Lovely. See you later, guys. You weren't joking. Up there. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Welcome, Joe Fish. Welcome. Thank you so much. Say hello to the viewers. There we go. Hello. We're, we're From Axbridge. Axbridge. Really friendly folks here in Axbridge. Do come and do come by and have a visit. Yeah, do. Come here. Yes, I'm <laughs> There we go. We've got mates all over our. That's it. We'll see you soon, guys. What a wonderful place. What a wonderful people. And what a wonderful time I've had in Axbridge. Do remember to like, comment, and subscribe and share the video. I'm really trying to make this channel grow. I'll catch you on the next one.